and have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lusts shall they heap to themselves teachers, having itching ears. And they shall turn away their ears from the truth, and shall be turned unto fables. So, I haven't made a video in a very long time, around 18 months, largely due to health problems. I may go into more detail in another video if I can find the time. I need to make a full testimony video at some point, but parts of my testimony will be in this series. I didn't get saved until the age of 40, almost eight years ago. I'm just seven years old in the Lord Jesus Christ. And one of the biggest stumbling blocks to my conversion to Christianity was the 40 to 50,000 Christian divisions or denominations. Now I beseech you, brethren, by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that ye all speak the same thing, and that there be no divisions among you, but that ye be perfectly joined together in the same mind and in the same judgment. For ye are yet carnal. For whereas there is among you envying and strife and divisions, are ye not carnal and walk as men? I grew up Jewish and there are only three major Jewish divisions or denominations, Orthodox, Conservative, and Reformed. There are some other sects within Orthodox Judaism, such as the ultra-Orthodox Haredi Jews, my mom's oldest friend is or was a Haredi Jew living in Israel. I don't know if she's still alive. But there are less than 10 Jewish denominations, nowhere near tens of thousands. Reformed Judaism is the opposite of Reformed Christianity in that it is the least observant and least believing denomination. Most Reformed Jews are secular and have never opened a Bible outside of synagogue whereas many Reformed Christians are very much into their Bibles, many reading them every day, like me. Orthodox Jews really only study the Talmud and the writings of the rabbis. Conservative Judaism falls somewhere in between Reformed and Orthodox, and I was a conservative Jew. But even conservative Jews don't read their Bibles. I never did as a Jew. Having been to many synagogues at all levels, and having been to many churches in many denominations, I can tell you that at no level do the Jews treasure the Word of God the way that Christians do. That was the biggest and best surprise to my conversion to Christianity. And this will trigger my Jewish friends and family if they're watching, because I never encountered the Spirit of God in a dead bone synagogue. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For ye are like unto whited sepulchres, which indeed appear beautiful outward, but are within full of dead men's bones, and of all uncleanness. I pray this will provoke you to jealousy, as Scripture says. They have moved me to jealousy with that which is not God. They have provoked me to anger with their vanities. And I will move them to jealousy with those which are not a people. I will provoke them to anger with a foolish nation. It's true. The Jews decorate the Bible as if they treasure it. They parade the scrolls around the synagogue and everyone kisses their tzitzis or fingers and then touches the scrolls as they are carried by. The Jews treasure it outwardly because they never read it or study it themselves. The Christians read and study their Bibles. That's how you truly treasure God's Word, by living in it every day. But Christianity was a joke to me as a Jew growing up. It's a joke to most Jews because of the denominations. We used to say they have 40 or 50,000 denominations and they know our Torah, our Tanakh, our Bible better than us. How is it then, brethren, when ye come together, every one of you hath a psalm, hath a doctrine, hath a tongue, hath a revelation, hath an interpretation? Let all things be done unto edifying. With all these different denominations come different doctrines, but there is only one sound doctrine, and that is the doctrine that was taught by the early church. 
the Apostles, Barnabas, Papias, Justin Martyr, Irenaeus, Hippolytus, Tertullian, Victorinus, Cyprian, Methodius, Lactantius, and Ephraim the Syrian all believed in the same sound doctrine. I will continue to reveal the sound doctrine throughout this series. And remember that name Ephraim, we'll be talking more about Ephraim later in the series. The reason I'm making this video is because I'm frustrated. I'm frustrated with the church leaders I've been trying to minister the flat earth to, such as J.D. Farag, Brandon Holthouse, Billy Crone, Tom Hughes, Andy Woods, Justin Peters, et al. You get your other Christian doctrine right, but you get your biblical cosmology wrong. Some of you haven't even started to wake up out of your pods and still think Saudis did 9-11. I'm not even going to get into the no planes truth that JD actually had the guts to go into last year that a lot of you ripped him apart over. The rest of you are not even truth or newborns. You're still in your pods, in your wombs, refusing to be born. You can't handle solid truth or food yet. So if you still believe the official story of 9-11, then what about Building 7? That's not mentioned anywhere in the official story, especially it being reported as down when it was still up. Here's a newborn baby truther website for you to suckle on, for those of you who are done refusing to be born, refusing to wake up. Here, real architects and real engineers, not us idiot conspiracy theorists on YouTube, have disputed the official story of 9-11. Here's some milk, truth or milk. Better get to drinking because your growth is stunted by over 20 years. And you're supposed to be mature enough to lead others. You know, eating truth or meat by now. And you all sound like turkeys with your global government, global religion, global monetary system, global, global, global. <laughs> it's one world government, one world religion, and one world monetary system. Words mean things. The words globe and global aren't in the Bible. When you say global, you're just a globalist in the truest sense of the word. JD, I'm beginning to think you're trolling me when you do this now. I've sent you at least half a dozen emails trying to minister the flat earth to you with lists of flat earth pastors who have been brave enough to speak the truth, but you keep globaling every time I write. Your church responds to my prayer request emails, so I know someone is filtering and reading, but my flat earth emails get mocked. Maybe you have a gatekeeper. Maybe you are a gatekeeper. We'll talk more about gatekeepers later in this series. Anyway, I'm frustrated with the church leaders but I'm also frustrated with the Christian flat earth leaders and with the greater Christian truth movement in general. Because you get your truth right about 9-11, the moon landing hoax, symbolism, fake news, and biblical cosmology, etc. But you get your Christian doctrine wrong. You're led astray by every wind of doctrine. You do everything except what Christians are supposed to be doing. And that's what the bulk of this series will be about. And I'm frustrated with my biological and step families because you just won't listen to anything I have to say about anything. But you're probably not watching anyway. I did not want to make this series. I tried to quit several times. But I could not get the Holy Spirit to leave me alone about it, no matter how hard I prayed or how busy I kept myself with other things. I had to make this series because I've spent the last four months watching nothing but flat earth material from the leaders in the flat earth movement, and there are a lot of what I would politely call incorrect Christian doctrines interwoven into their material. The biblical term is heresies, so I will use that going forward. I'm not going to sugarcoat anything in this presentation, so you all have been warned. 
I've been leading a lot of people to the flat earth through these business cards that I leave in tip jars at coffee shops, restaurants, car washes, etc. I hand them out and talk to people about the flat earth in stores. And I send direct emails to pastors like JD and Andy and evangelists like Justin Peters. But I don't want any new believers or weak believers or even mature believers like seasoned pastors and Bible teachers to come to my channel for flat earth content, possibly for the first time, and to be exposed to all these heresies without a disclaimer and some guidance. Some of the content I'm reacting to in this presentation is several years old, but it was all new to me a few months ago, and it's all new to the people I'm leading to the flat earth. I woke up to flat earth right at the beginning, but I had just gotten saved, so I stepped away from the truth movement altogether to get grounded in the word of God. I will talk more about this in future parts of the series. So if my commentary no longer applies, i.e. the person who presented the content has changed their point of view, then please email me so I can make another video correcting myself and retracting any false claims. I don't want to be a false witness and I'm not doing this to attack anyone. Please provide links to evidence I'm not well enough to research anymore. Stay tuned for part two tomorrow. Please like, share, and subscribe. My everything has been shadow banned, and unless you share, no one will receive this message. Thank you for watching. God bless you all. He declared that the evil was a sin for man And then he decided to destroy the land He spoke to Noah, Noah stopped He said, Noah, I want you to build me an ark I want you to build it three cubits long I want you to build it big and strong I want it 50 high and 50 wide So it will stand the wind and tide is Oh, Noah, oh, oh, Noah Well, later then Noah began to hew and build The ringing of the hammer cried judgment The hewing of the salt cried sin repent A hundred years he hammered and sawed Building the ark by the grace of God Now when the ark was done, God's voice was heard He said, now Noah, let me tell you what to do Calling the animals two by two So he called them in the ark Two by two, he called the birds The ox with the kangaroo Then he called and jumped back to ham and sham Then God began to flood the land He raised his hands to heaven on high Shook the stars and moon from the sky Shook the mountain, he troubled the sea Hit the wind to his chariot the wheel He stepped on land, stood on the shore And declared that time there wouldn't be no more But well, it's over and over Oh, oh, no Oh, 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 no God's going to ride on the wind and tide